aim is to draw the thermo emf e versus temperature t card of a given thermocouple that is it is called calibration and hence to find the thermoelectric power before going to the details of the potentiometer, let us first discuss these two circuits for better understanding of the principle lying behind the potentiometer. First discuss the basic principle involved behind the potentiometer. For this purpose, let us first consider this circuit in which the EMF of this battery capital is very very greater than small e. So current will flow in this direction I1 which is branch at this point as I2 and I3. And for the loop 1, we get the EMF equation as E equal to I2RP plus I1R, I2RP plus I1R. And in the loop 2, it is E is equal to I2RP minus I3G, G being the resistance of the galvanometer, I2RP and current is flowing in this direction through so minus i3 into g. Now i2rp is equal to e minus i1r so it is like this. In this circuit the emf of the battery e is such that the emf this emf is very very greater than e so it will dominate and current will flow in this direction i3 prime it will branch at this point as i2 prime and i1 prime and the loop equation will be like this e equal to in this loop e equal to i2 prime rp plus i3 prime g i2 prime rp plus i3 prime g and in this equation i2 prime rp capital e equal to i2 prime rp i2 prime rp and i1 prime is flowing in this direction so minus I1 prime R giving E plus I1 prime R equal to I2 prime RP and I2 prime RP is equal to E minus I3 prime G. If and only if I3 is equal to 0, then no current will flow through the galvanometer and we will call it null point. So this will 0 and this will 0. So E equal to E plus I1 prime R in this case and E is equal to E minus I1 R in this case. In all this case, this EMF equal to this EMF or this EMF equal to this EMF. And if we know this E minus I1 R or in this case E plus I1 prime R, both are same, then we will get the unknown EMF E. This is the basic principle involved behind the potentiometer. Actually, <clears throat> small e and capital E are equal, this is not true. Actually, I2RP is equal to small e or I2 prime RP equal to small e. Then and only then we will get null point. Now, with this idea, let us consider the circuit of the potentiometer. This is the potentiometer where whose total length is 1000 centimeter because there are 10 watts each of length 100 centimeter. So, the total length is 1000 centimeter and the total resistance of the potentiometer where is rp now look the positive terminal of the small e and the positive terminal of the capital e these two positive terminals are connected at this point just like this point or this point now this is the resistance rp as in the figure as in this figure so these two figures are comparable only the difference is that between the two figures here I2RP is greater than E that is current is flowing in this direction through the galvanometer. But in this figure the length of potentiometer wire is such that that I2 prime RP is less than E so current is flowing in this direction so that is opposite to the previous direction. Now let us consider the potentiometer where such that E divided by R plus RP is the current flowing through the potentiometer. So into RP the total resistance of the potentiometer where gives the total potential drop across the potentiometer where. So potential drop per unit length of the potentiometer where is rho. Now if we connect the jockey 
in a point such that the length of the potentiometer where is L, then EMF V is equal to E R P divided by R plus R P into L. If this EMF V, that is I2 R P, is such that it is greater than E, then the first figure is to be considered. So, we will get a deflection of the galvanometer in this direction, say in this direction. But if we put the jockey in such a position, the length of the potentiometer where is L dashed, so that V dashed equal to E R P L dashed divided by R plus R P into L is such that the V dashed is less than E, then E will dominate and this figure is to be considered and current through the galvanometer will be opposite to that of the previous case. Now, let us consider a length L is such that V is equal to like this, so that V is equal to E. Then no current will flow through the galvanometer and I3 or I3 prime will be 0 and we will get V is equal to E that is null point then E R P L divided by R plus R P into L will give E as E capital E R P L and capital L all are known we can find out the unknown EMF E if the EMF is unknown. So by this method we can find out any potential of a circuit, any potential of a battery or any potential between two points of a circuit with this formula and in this way we can understand how we getting deflections in one case is in say clockwise, another case is in opposite direction and we are getting null point at a certain length of the potentiometer where. When two wires of different metals, here it is copper and constantan, are joined at the ends and a difference of temperature is maintained between the two junctions. Here one junction is kept at boiling water or the temperature of the water is increasing and another junction is put into the ice pack that is cold junction as shown in the figure. Now this is the copper constant and junction this is positive so connected at this point this is the previous point P this is the positive of the battery is again connected at P this is the copper constant and junction this is copper blue where is the copper again blue where is the copper this is black where is the constant and so, the, so it is another junction of copper constant which is kept at cold junction which is kept at ice and another junction is kept at water bath whose temperature is increasing by increasing the temperature. Now thermo EMF this is the previous equation as already discussed thermo EMF is generated at this point and this effect is called Seebeck effect. The relation between the temperature, actually the temperature difference between these two junctions, if it is kept at 0 degree centigrade and it is at T degree centigrade, then the difference of temperature is small t, then the relation is for small temperature E equal to AT plus BT square, where T is the difference of temperature. Here cold junction being at the 0 degree centigrade, so it is t minus 0 that is t. Now if the temperature is very low, the temperature difference being very low, it may be approximated as E equal to A t, then the plot E versus t will be a straight line. But in actual case when it is taken as A t plus B t square, A and B are constants, actual curve is like this. And this is neutral temperature and this is temperature of inversion. So if we take the temperatures well below the inversion temperature or neutral temperature, then it is approximated as a straight line passing through origin y is equal to mx. 
but if the cold junction is at not at 0 degree centigrade then we have to take the difference and we have to plot here the difference of temperature between the two junctions. Again plotting temperature versus E we can draw a slope here so it is A B C then power thermoelectric power is defined as D D T equal to slope A B by B C. In this way we can determine the thermoelectric power and thermoelectric EMF at different temperatures.